there has been a lot of paradigm shifts in people's thoughts on Alzheimer's disease with them thinking about it being a met metabolic disease in a way, right? Um, type 3 diabetes you'll hear. But like, I think this vascular dysfunction is, it's so crucial and, you know, I th may go hand in hand with the metabolism, um, maybe, uh, at, you know, at the root of it. But, um, you know, identifying some of these early biomarkers that you were mentioning, even in plasma, um, I don't know how early or if they're even available to people to measure, are they? It's still at the research um, phase. So um, there is a, I don't know if you know, but there is a new technique called electrochemoluminescence, and uh, there is two major platforms worldwide. One is called Mesoscale Discovery, MSD. The other one is the CIMOA, CIMOA platform. And the beauty of these two technologies is you can use a small amount of fluid and you can get a lot of data, basically, to make it simple. And and so these particular fairly new vascular value markers are currently being, um, you know, validated and everything in, in those platforms that will be uh, high throughput and where you can imagine to 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 do a lot of part, like uh, patients at a time. Uh, right now, it's quite um, the workflow. Right now, is quite uh, long and uh, difficult. So that's why we try, as any biomarkers, we want like same as we heard from Japan. You can uh, get same as you get your blood glucose right from the finger. You can get your amyloid status, right? Amyloid 42 levels now and things like that and get diagnosed with uh, if you have Alzheimer's or not from just a, a drop of blood. So that would be the idea, basically, uh, having this, but this will require probably a few years, obviously. But it's available at the research level, but not at the clinical level as of yet. What about the soluble platelet-derived growth factor receptor one you mentioned? So it's it's an it's ongoing in clinical trials in the U.S. Um, so I guess uh, it requires it has been done in uh, hundreds of patients uh, participants. So now they try to build up, go to thousands. So you know you need some validation step with a bigger cohort and and make sure that uh, this is truly uh, elevated. Let's say with APOE4 or with aging in a much larger cohort of patients. Uh, but yeah, I think it's much closer to to, to, to be available, uh, hopefully talking about months, year, a year or two, hopefully, yeah. But I'm not wow, uh, part of that uh, validation step, but hopefully uh, this will come quick because yeah, I think it's a very, very, very valuable tool for, for, for us. Yeah. 